tonight and he's teed up Pedro! It's outrageous! Why might a flashback be helpful? <laughs> I don't know. Astonishing! And an assist tonight and he's teed up Pedro! It's outrageous! What's up, boys, and Vafanculo, and welcome to the first flashback, first big SBC of the year. It is none other than flashback Pedro Rodriguez Ledesma. He plays for Club L, AK Latium, AK Lazio, who Latium are meant to represent because of the licensing issues uh, with the Serie A. And today, uh, we're going to take a look at this card. I think he's coming in at around 80, 90,000 coins. It's a five part SBC, so it is not cheap, uh, especially at this stage of the game. But we're going to find out if there might be something worth it in the card. We're going to get him onto the pitch. We're going to take an in depth look at his stats. But if you guys do enjoy, Enjoy the episode is smash like on the episode if you guys think that the latium badge is actually kind of hilarious because it's just literally blue with an l and it's something i probably could have created on photoshop drop a mad lad like on the epi if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below so what do you get you get four star skill moves five star weak foot that's pretty damn crazy this uh that's pretty damn crazy for any fifa uh regardless of whatever the meta is this year so for starters the card has 98 acceleration with 77 sprint speed i well i need i do need to add that insigne who is the best current option as left wing, left wing, uh, left mid in the Serie A. Again, a league that I love. Uh, is uh, is 84 sprint speed, 90 acceleration. So it's this interesting question where Insigne obviously offers some really, really good stats as well. Has the finesse shot trait. Has the uh, has the four star, four star as well. Um, is 84 rated, and you have to pay about 20,000 coins for Insigne. Doesn't really actually, you know, when you start talking about Insigne with those stats, it actually makes Pedro look a little bit better. And uh, specifically, I don't know if there's a big difference between 98 acceleration, 77 sprint speed. And and 84 sprint speed and 90 acceleration. I feel like those guys are going to probably, maybe uh, Insigne gets to that top level a little bit quicker, but I don't know if you're going to notice that big of a difference on the pitch. So goes up to 87 sprint speed with the Hunter chem style, goes up to 99. Hunter's a little bit wasted on him just because it only gives him a plus one with the acceleration, uh, you know, uh, shooting stats. 86 goes over 90, finishing goes up to 94. Uh, shot power goes up to 91. Already has good long shots. The passing stats are, uh, are interesting, I should say. Doesn't have the best crossing, doesn't have the best long passing, but in terms of curve, short passing, and vision, it is one of the most elite uh, in the game right now. Uh, and then the dribbling stats this year, in my opinion, one of the most important stats is that ball control and is that dribbling. And he comes with 93 balance and 93 agility with 84 stamina with the finesse shot and the outside the foot shot trait. So uh, I, I got to say for about for about 80,000 coins, while it is expensive and we're not going to 100% know until we get him on the pitch, he looks like a pretty damn decent card and he definitely becomes one of the best wingers in the uh, in the Serie A. Speaking of wingers in the Serie A, we've put together a Serie A squad. We've got ourselves the other uh, Latium AK Club L player on the other side, Felipe Anderson. I don't like, I don't want to use him as a winger. While I think he can play there, uh, we're actually going to be going with a 4-3-1-2, and I'm going to use him as a cam because I think he's got the distance shooting. He can get into the box and finish based on his stats, uh, and then also the finesse shot and then the outside the foot shot trait. I think will be uh, will be uh, will be pretty solid there from just outside the box. Probably he's going to feel a little bit faster than expected because he does have the uh, does have the crazy dribbling. Match number one, Vafanculo. If you're doing an epi on a player from Club L, you just are going to affix the Latium AK Club L kit. Uh, match number one is going to be Venza FC. Looks like a pretty solid little Serie A Bundesliga hybrid. And again, this is going to be my first time running the 4 3 one, two, So uh, I don't quite know what to expect. Where's uh, Where's Pedro? I can't. Is, is he? I think he's number six. So the left analog stick dribbling looks pretty good. Again, this is no modifier. That's not L1. That's not L1 or R1. So he, got, he got around the first guy. He got around the first guy, no problem. Nice little bit of agility to get around the first guy. Okay, so Pe Pe Pedrito's just gonna go ahead and he's gonna do himself a cheeky Naruto run. Now, usually in previous FIFAs, I would freak out at something like that, right? Usually I'd freak out at a finesse from outside the box, but this year, that is the meta, so. Uh, I, you know, give, you know, at the end of the day, he did put his first shot on, he did put his first shot on, uh, on net into the back of goal, into the back of the goal. Two, two, three, be advised, we have a visual on enemy paratroopers. He just banks the nest goals. Okay, the first one I thought might have been fluky, but Pedro just bangs the nest goals, dude. You just don't miss. You just with with dude with a with a Pedrito you just do not miss my my word Pedro, he's two for two. Also for, forgot to mention that he's got the short and lean body type. I don't know if lean body types, uh, I don't know if the body types are gonna um, 
Oh no. I don't know if body types are going to be uh, as big of a factor this year, but he does have the short and lean body type. Pedro is a uh, Pedro's a Spanish sniper. There, there, there's, there's no getting around it. I like him as a cam. Again, still getting a little bit used to this formation. Um, it's a little bit narrow for my liking. I like the width that uh, I, I like the width that the 442 affords me. Um, so it is. Uh, there, there is a little bit of a there is a little bit of a learning curve here. It's, again, it's uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in the middle of the pit. Two, three, be advised, we have a visual on enemy paratroopers. He's got a little. He's, he's got a little bit of. Hey, yo, Pedro's a saucy little player, man. Could be just. And then the body faint can't get around him just because the body faint's been nerfed this year. No, old habits die. Uh, old habits die slow. And then I think this. Oh yikes! Yo, I'll tell you what, man. Chucky Lozano. If you're if you're if you're looking for a value card, I can't believe I don't have Chucky in the squad. The only reason I don't have Chucky in the squad right now is because we are featuring Pedro, and I wanted uh, Felipe Anderson in in this epi as well. But if you're looking for if you're looking for a value card, uh, Chucky Lozano is uh, Chucky Lozano is that guy. Pedro es un buen balón frontal del área. Pedro se gira el tinerfeño, remato a Pedro. Golazo. Qué golazo. Pedro, bro. What the? Yo, Pedro, chill out, dude. You're shit. Yes, chef, I am. You are so shit. It's unbelievable. The absolute bad lads now in potentially a dangerous position. I think that would have been it. While we do get the L, I would say that Pedro... Damn, Chucky Lozano goes ahead and he steals the shine. This is the sort of thing that you get with the finesse shot. Pop. And then just that bend. Unmistakable finesse shot. Then this was uh, this was Pedro at the top of the box. Nice little send in. Nice little one touch. And then another finesse. He went, actually went off the keeper's hand. And then more, more, uh, more impressively... This uh, this situation where uh, Pedri, uh, Pedro, obviously we have him on uh, on stay forward and uh, we have him on stay forward, so he's making a forward runs as well. He's surrounded by three guys, and you're wondering how you're getting out of this situation. Well, it's left and long stick, and that's literally, in in my mind, that's the that's the meta of FIFA 22. We literally sent his defender to the shop, sent him to the left, was not able to recover, and then just a nasty little finish from Pedro there. Take it short. Pedro, para Hazard, mejor dicho, que ha premutado con Pedro. Pedro está a la izquierda ahora y ahí va a recibir Pedro. Es un buen balón frontal del área. Pedro se gira, el tiene el feño, remato a Pedro. ¡Golazo! ¡Oh, ¡Qué golazo! ¡Golazo okay. de Pedro! Ok, boys, listen, I'm going to tell you right now. I, listen. Whenever I see a player that's like, whenever I see a player at the beginning of a FIFA cycle that's hell expensive, I'm, I'm, I am cautious of the fact that you guys have limited coins to work with. Not everyone has 80,000 or 90,000 or, or whatever, you know, may, maybe some of you guys do have some untradeable, maybe you guys do have some fodder to work with, but... This, yo, this, this Pedro card... ...is a little bit mad. LB, uh, that's LBY. That's a nice little send in. <laughs> I'll say this about I'll say this about Pedro's card. The the acceleration pace disparity is not something you 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 really need to worry about. For one, you know, 77 pace isn't even that bad, even without a chem style this year, right? Like Lewandowski's got the 77 pace. Um, you know, there, there, there's a bunch of cards that are really really dangerous, dude. I've seen people use Suarez. I, I've seen people do bits with uh, with Suarez and Aguero this year, bro. I got absolutely destroyed by a guy in Rivals yesterday using Suarez and Aguero. So pace, uh, in terms of striker, is definitely not um, a huge, huge issue this year. Keep it a buck fifty with this card. I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you. The on the on pitch performance of this Pedro is just absolutely ridiculous. I don't know if it's the five star weak foot. I don't know if it's it's got if it's the composure. I don't know if it's the short and lean body type. I don't know if it's a combination of you know. I I don't know what it is. I think it's probably just a a, a combination of all the stats that Pedro has. But this card is an absolute weapon. It's, 
Ruiz. What can they do with it? Chiro Immobile. Can he convert? And that that should that should have been goal number six. That should, and then Chiro Immobile <laughs> is allergic to the ball, bro. That should have been goal number six right there, boys. Canales. It's with Mikel Marino. A really sumptuous ball. Every day Malakia. Every day Malakia. This was peak Pedro, man. This is the dribbling. Difficult to get the ball off of. Left analog stick dribbling. Uh, he slides in with whatever defender that is. A little bit of a lazy tackle. Think, I think he thinks I was just going to keep running. And then with the left, just with the left foot, easy as she does it. I mean, he absolutely destroys Gerard Pique there, dude. That's the dribbling. And then just a lovely, lovely finish. You get yourself a uh, you get yourself a premium gold pack and a small Electrum player pack. So where's the premium gold pack? So value for coins, you know, 85, you know, anywhere between 80 and 90,000 coins with some packs that aren't really great uh, that you get back. I will go ahead and this one is even untra th this is an untradeable pack, right? I think all the packs might even be untradeable. I'm going to say three out of five in terms of value. I don't know if I can fully recommend it in terms of value, given that there are just, you know, the Serie A is that league that you go to, uh, that you go do for the value. And I'm not sure that this Pedro, uh, Pedro d uh, fills that quota. I think if he was around 60,000 coins, maybe 65, maybe I would be bold enough to give him a four star, uh, four, uh, four, uh, four fingers on the infinity gauntlet. But as of right now, I got to give it a three out of five. It's not incredible value for coins. Uh, and then we get over to the we get over the in-game performance and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give a four and a half out of five in terms of in uh, in in-game performance Bang shots from inside the box bang shots from outside the box. His passing was really really good His uh, his positioning was incredible and the thing that really stood out to me And it's something that I already expected on his card was the dribbling and he feels super super silky on the ball The question is are you gonna yeet those coin? Are you gonna yeet that untradeable fodder? Are you gonna yeet those? Uh, you know those hard-earned packs that you uh, work for if you you know if you run a Serie A squad if you love the league You're probably going with him if you're a Lazio supporter You're probably gonna get him um, and at the end of the day like I always say boys if you see a card and he looks good to you and you want to get him done and maybe you're running a first owner then get him but if not and you're waiting for another SBC that might be coming out Friday whether that's Premier League player of the month or league gun player of the month you know save your coins uh and uh you guys can uh, you guys can wait till then as a matter of fact let's see how long he's available for he's there for two days come on yo what the f he's there for two days I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna downgrade to two and a half out of five yo two days it's basically a flash flashback SBC. But anyway, boys, that's going to do it for the episode. Yeah. Incredible, incredible card. Overpriced, not here long enough. And again, if you're running a Serie A squad, the decision might be a little bit easier for you. But those are my thoughts on the card. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Smash like on the epi if you guys did enjoy. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down, be down below. We'll catch you guys for another stream later tonight over on Twitch. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.